Job, Yav, Chapter 41 Look, any hope of capturing him is futile. One would fall prostrate at the very sight of him. No one is fierce enough to rouse him, so who can stand up to me? Who has given me anything and made me pay it back? Everything belongs to me under all of heaven. I have more to say about his limbs, his strong talk, and his matchless strength. Who can strip off his scaly garment? Who can enter his jaws? Who can pry open the doors of his face so close to his terrible teeth? His pride is his rows of scales, tightly sealed together. One is so close to the next that no air can come between them. They are stuck one to another, interlocked and impervious. When he sneers, when he sneezes, light flashes out. His eyes are like the shimmer of dawn. From his mouth go fiery torches, and sparks come flying out. His nostrils belch steam, like a cauldron boiling on the fire. His breath sets coals ablaze, flames pour from his mouth. Strength resides in his neck, and dismay dances ahead of him as he goes. The layers of his flesh stick together. They are firm on him, immovable. His heart is as hard as a stone, yes, hard as a lower millstone. When he rears himself up, the gods are afraid, besides themselves in despair. If a sword touches him, it won't stick. Neither will a spear or a dart or a lance. He regards iron as straw and bronze as rotten wood. An arrow can't make him flee. For him, sling stones are so much chaff. Clubs count as hay, and he laughs at a quivering javelin. His belly is as sharp as fragments of pottery, so he moves across the mud like a threshing sledge. He makes the depths seethe like a pot. He makes the sea boil like a perfumed kettle. He leaves a shining wake behind him making the deep seem to have white hair. On earth there is nothing like him, a creature without fear. He looks straight at all high things. He is king over all proud beasts.